I have noticed that, perhaps tangentially, as a result of my essay in the New York Review of Books and my lecture at the Jewish Heritage Museum in Manhattan, Futron has now vanished from St. Conlis literature. But making him disappear is not enough. It would be double-faced of me to question, as I have done, the Vatican, the Swiss state, Argentina, for their hiring and protection of Nazis, and not question my own former school for the same sin. It is in this spirit that I appeal to St. Conlitz to publicly apologize for having once upon a not so long ago inflicted this Nazi thug upon its young students, of which I was one. I believe that an apology will provide us all an opportunity to heal. It is not easy to speak out, especially after having had to confront a monster such as Futron in childhood. I do not believe that St. Conlitz today should be judged for deeds in its past. The school acted within the context of its times with a different yardstick than ours, and its actions back then do not reflect upon its current stewards. What St. Conlitz can do, however, is underline the distance it has traveled and apologize for actions that it played no part in, but that were carried out under the name it still bears today. We cannot be judged for the behavior of those who came before us, but that doesn't absolve us today from distancing ourselves from that past.